Hello everyone, and finally we're gonna upload our UI. I'm gonna upload it to SwotorUI.com, so I will put a link in the description. A lot of people requested this on the stream, and a lot of people have requested it in subsequent videos. We're gonna talk a bit about it. Uh, this UI, I use a I use a Logitech uh, G600 mouse, which has 24 buttons on this, or 24 programmable buttons. It has 12 buttons on the side, 24 of which programmable, because of course you've got your 1 through equals, equals 11 and 12, so you get your 12 here, and your 12 here. So a lot of people wanted this one. Uh, this is how it's arranged on the mouse, so that's why I went for that. Also got the little cooldown bar, which is slightly transparent. I put all my kind of major cooldowns, like force potency there, and abilities that we want to keep track of. So as a balance sage, of course, we want to keep track of force and balance. It's just easier to look at the middle of the screen than it is to look down here, even though it's quite near the middle of the screen. But again, I just like it there as well as a reminder. I don't put the key bind on it. Obviously, put the key bind there. Uh, again, but just right now is all we've got is force and balance. I guess we'll get more things to track as we level through a balance sage up to level 20 now as our balance sage. So anyway, I will upload it and I will we will put a tutorial in uh, as to how to do it. We're going to have to switch to fraps now, which is bad because we're going to record the desktop and I'm going to show you how to uh, insert the uh, UI. How to how to use it anyway so I'll switch over to fraps right now and we'll show you so if the quality does go down and you know that's the reason for it so anyway we'll switch over to fraps right so we're here on the desktop really we're using OBS because fucking fraps fucking fraps decided they didn't want to fucking record anymore uh, yes yeah, so we disabled our arrow which we do when OBS is up so we'll put this down and what we're going to do is we are going to go to our app data folder. And to get to the app data folder, you can go via my computer and you can show hidden files because technically it's hidden. However, we're going to do this via the start menu. I don't, know how, I don't know how to search in Windows 8 to be honest, but I'm sure you can find out. So what you're going to do is find your search bar, do percentage, app data, percentage, please work, please work. Yeah, there it is. Fraps crashed whenever you did this. So it should get a folder called Roaming. Uh, we don't want the folder called Roaming. So as you can see, it is going to be in C slash users slash your username, wherever your username is, slash app data slash roaming. We want to go to app data. We want to go there. We want to go to local because Swotar is located in local. Just find Swotar. There it is Swotar. Uh, it's just Swotar, not Swotar pref. And you're going to go to Swotor. If you have the PTS, you're going to have the public test server. So you want to just go to Swotor, which is the live server. Uh, go to the settings folder. You'll find a list of all your characters here. And you want to go to GUI profiles. Now, this is where you want to paste it in. We called it, I called it Drodar UI. This is where you want to paste your XML file. And when you get back into the game, we'll go back into the game now and we'll show you what you do. So this is where you paste it. It should be um, you, you C slash users slash whatever your username is slash app data slash local slash Swotor slash Swotor. I don't know why it has two. I guess one's live, one's the PTS slash settings and it's GUI profiles. It's in. That's where your UIs are stored. It should be an XML document. I called it Drodar, Drodar UI. Even though we got a Marauder UI that we made that video. We still got it. Uh, so that's where you put it. And what we'll do is we'll go back into game and we'll take a look at it. Right, so we're back in game. Now, if you did this correctly, uh, if you click the little plus icon, you should see Drodar UI there. Uh, we could change the UI anytime. I could change it to this one. We can change it back to this. Uh, also, we can... Oops. So you should see it. Plus icon... The UI should be fine. You probably won't get the key bindings. I don't think it saves the key bindings with the UI. So, other thing we have is our little stance bar, which we don't need. We need that for the shadow, so we'll probably disable that. We've got a little hidden bar over here with quick travel and their mount, which I have key bound to the number pad because you don't really want to see that. And you know, that's pretty much it, really, for the UI. So, hopefully, uh, you, you know. 
Should be a pretty cut. If you don't see it here, you probably put it into the wrong folder then, because it should be on this list. That was <laughs> that was a weird UI. That was a weird experiment there. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why we saved that one. But yeah, there it is. So you can change your UI uh, pretty easily, really. Change it. You can have presets. I guess if we were going to healer, we'd probably just set it back to something else there if we were doing healer UI. Uh, actually, I don't like this as a healer because I'd rather have this up higher for my heals, to be honest with you. But anyway, that is all for this video. So thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon. And goodbye.